Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to study the idea of how many more, also how many fewer. Let's look at this example where Mathy has five rings and Mary has two rings. So Mathy has more, but how many more? Okay, let's match Mathy's and Mary's rings like this. This matches this, this matches that. Now we can see Matthew has exactly three more rings than Mary. Three more rings than Mary. We can also say that Ma Mary has three fewer rings than Matthew. Or you might say Mary has three less rings than Matthew. Over here, look, Bill has more rings than Jack. But how many more? We can do the same. We can match these. And now count here. One, two, three, four. Bill has four more rings than Jack. At the same time, Jack has four fewer rings or four less rings than Bill. Over here, we need to draw the rings for Matt. It says Matt has two more rings than Anne. Think first, who has more rings, Anne or Matt? Matt has two more rings than Anne. Matt has more rings. So, first of all, I will draw for Matt the same amount of rings as Anne, four and four. But Matt has two more, so I draw two more rings for Matt. Matt got six rings. Over here, Amy has one fewer ring than Helen. So who has more, Helen or Amy? Amy has one fewer ring. Amy has fewer rings or less rings. So Helen has more. So I need to draw for Amy some, but not as many as for Helen. Amy does not have three. Amy has less. And Amy has one less or one fewer ring than Helen. So I will draw two here. These two are matching like that. And now Amy has one fewer ring than Helen. Over here, we will draw the rings for Jack and Jill and also for Hannah and Julie. Jack has two fewer rings than Jill. Over here is the same thing. Hannah has two fewer rings than Julie. And I'll show you how we can make this to be true and draw different amounts here than what we draw here. Let's say, okay, Jack has fewer rings and Jill has more. So I'll just draw some for Jack here, for starters. For Jill, I need to draw more, right? Jack has two fewer rings, so it means Jill has two more rings than Jack. So for Jill, first the same amount and then two more, like that. Jack has two and Jill has four. Over here I'll do, do it a little differently. Hannah has two fewer rings than Julie. I'll just draw some for Hannah, let's say four. Let's give Hannah four rings. And now Julie, I mean, who has more, Julie or Hannah? Hannah has fewer or less rings, so Julie has more. I'll draw Julie first the same amount and then two more, so that Hannah has two fewer rings than Julie. Notice how this was the same idea, but I drew different amounts. There was two different solutions. Actually, there are many more different solutions for these. Okay, Matthew has five toy cars. You like toy cars, Matthew? Sure thing, he likes playing with toy cars. Okay, that's normal. Matthew has five toy cars. Andy has three more cars than Matthew. How many cars does Andy have? Okay, we could draw the cars, right? Matthew has five. Imagine these are Matthew's cars. <laughs> and Andy has how many? He has three more cars than Matthew. So for Andy, I can first draw the same amount, the five. And then I have to draw three more cars for Andy, right? So that he has three more cars than Matthew. So now how many does Andy have? It would be the five that were the same and then the three more. So it is eight cars. Bob has ten cars and Emma has, Emma has eight cars. How many more does Bob have than Emma? How many more? We already know how many Bob has, how many Emma has. This is kind of like these pictures here. If I draw Bob's and Emma's cars, maybe it is clear. Bob's would be these 10. Like that. 
and m has 8. Okay, and now we can see how many more does Bob have than Emma? It's two cars. You can solve this, if you don't want to draw, you can solve this by subtraction or by addition. You can think 8 plus how many more makes 10? 8 plus how many more makes 10? The answer would be 2, right? 2 more. Then again a word problem with Matthew. Did you write this problem, Matthew? Yes, he did. Oh, Matthew ate seven slices of pizza. You must have been hungry, but he has a mammoth appetite. And Scott ate four fewer slices than Matthew. How many slices did Scott eat? That's our question. But Matthew? Oh, I should ask the question. Why did Scott not like the pizza as well as Matthew? That's a silly question. Maybe Scott just got full. You have a mammoth appetite. Scott can't eat that much. I think both of them like the pizza equally well. Okay. Matthew ate seven slices. Let's draw them here. Seven big slices. And Scott ate four fewer slices. So how many will I draw for Scott? Four? No. I need to draw some and check. Is this now four fewer slices than Matthew? No, that's five fewer slices. I draw one more. These are now matching. Now Matthew has eaten four more, or Scott has eaten four fewer. So that's the right amount for Scott. Scott ate three. Okay. We're all done with this lesson.